In this demo, we'll show you how you can enable CloudOps to accelerate DDI-ready cloud provisioning while maintaining complete visibility into anything spun up in a cloud environment. Let's get started. The journey for network professionals who want to restore order to fragmented DNS starts here. We're going to accelerate DDI-ready cloud provisioning into AWS and extend visibility into the cloud using BlueCat's discovery and visibility application, all while ensuring BlueCat extends control of DNS out into Amazon. One of the ways you can reestablish your authority and governance over enterprise DDI is by enabling cloud ops teams to provision infrastructure in the cloud faster. Using a variety of Terraform instances, you can treat infrastructure as code to accelerate provisioning which your cloud ops teams will love you for. So I have a few of these Terraform instances that will deploy in the backend. It will deploy some modules like a BAM, a gateway, edge, and a test client into a VPC we're creating in AWS. Let's jump over to AWS. Here you can see we don't have any BlueCat infrastructure provision. We provision that in no time using some fast automation. In the terminal, I have a Terraform initiated that will command to start building out BlueCat adaptive DNS infrastructure into the cloud. So I'll type in here, Terraform apply. And then I'll enter ES to initiate. We'll just give it a, a moment as it's starting. While this is running, now we wanna maintain complete visibility by centralizing all cloud-based IP and DNS configurations into BlueCat Address Manager. So we're using a simple queue service in AWS that will allow us to monitor changes within the environment we're building, ensuring that information is pushed into BlueCat giving you real-time view of what's happening in that environment. I'll refresh AWS to see all BlueCat infrastructure we automated into existence. And there we have it. We've set up all the infrastructure for BlueCat. Let's jump into BAM next, which we've already provisioned here in AWS. I'll go ahead and accept. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is set up a new user before we can configure automated discovery using BlueCat's discovery and visibility application. So I'll add in the credentials that were generated through Terraform. Great. Now we'll jump into administration. We'll go to object types. Under admin, we'll go to named user. And then from here, we'll add blue cat Gateway. And we're good here. We'll hit add. We'll go back to administration and under user management, we'll go to users and groups. We'll add a new user name gateway. Set as administrator and adjust the access type. And under blue cat gateway, type in all. And we'll click add. Great. Now we'll jump into BlueCat's automation platform next. Here we'll add in the new credentials that we just created.
Now we're going to enable BlueCat's discovery and visibility application that extends DDI visibility into clouds like AWS, Azure, and GCP resources and centralizes what's discovered into BlueCat Address Manager. Without this kind of visibility, you're limited with how far you can automate and left guessing how IP space is allocated or why outages occur. So we'll drop down administration, we'll go to workflow permissions, and we'll activate cloud discovery and visibility. And here it is. Now we'll jump into cloud discovery and visibility and start to configure that. Next, we'll add in our AWS credentials. Under configuration options, we'll select the region to US East 2. And keep in mind, we create a configuration in BAM based on this information. And we can call it anything and do discovery in any region you have it set to. Next, under discovery options, we'll check mark all the different resources that we want to have discovered. And we'll set the target zone. Here, we're creating a zone in BAM where we're going to push this data into. Let's call it team1.com. We'll come back to visibility options a little later. For now, we're just going to start discovery. So let's run discovery on its own. And here on the right-hand side, you can start to see that we're discovering resources through this BlueCat discovery and visibility application. Once this is completed, we'll jump into BlueCat Address Manager and refresh. And it's completed. So we'll jump into BlueCat Address Manager. We'll go to Devices. Here's the configuration that got created based on discovery. This is all the stuff we created with the Terraform script and discovered with BlueCat Discovery and Visibility. Let's get a little bit more detail by customizing the table. Let's select Name Tag. And we'll also do instance state. We'll hit update. And here we go. We've got our edge, our test client, our BDDS, our BAM, and our gateway server, all captured here in one central location, Bluecat Address Manager. Next, we'll want to verify all the resource records created in our zone. So we'll jump to DNS. We'll go to AWS external, we'll click on .com, and there is our team1.com. So here are all the resource records we created based on the name, tag, and external IPs. Let's go a step further to extend control of DNS out into Amazon using that BDDS we deployed. First, we'll add a server, our BDDS. Great. Now we'll add in the name. Next, we'll add in the location of our BDDS. Host name will set to BDDS and password. There we go. And we'll hit add. Now that we connected that BDDS that we deployed, 
we can connect that team1.com zone to it using deployment rules. To do that, let's go back to DNS. Deployment rules. We'll add a new deployment rule, master. DDDS. We'll hit add. And we'll hit add. And there we go, we've deployed our deployment role. This allows us to assign that role to a BDDS server we created. So now we'll deploy that zone to the server. We'll go to servers, we'll select our BDDS, and we'll hit deploy. Force full deployment. And there we go. We've successfully been able to deploy that zone to the server. Now that we have a server out there that can act as an authority for our records and get updated when there's a change, let's do a quick test to make sure everything is working. So we got our no error and a public IP of this test client. Now is the moment of truth. Let's jump back to BlueCat Cloud Discovery and Visibility to activate real-time monitoring so we can detect a force state change of our test client in AWS. We'll jump back into Cloud Discovery and Visibility, open up Visibility Options, enable Visibility after Discovery, drop back in our credentials for AWS, and our login for address manager. We'll hit start discovery and we can go back to the top, click on visibility tab. And we can see that now visibility is indeed running. Now we'll stop the test client in AWS. So go to the test client and hit uh, stop instance. We'll hit stop. And that'll take a few moments. Now we'll go back to BAM and check to see if we have recorded a change near real time. Devices, and we can see that the test client has stopped. Lastly, we'll do a dig in the terminal given we did a selective deployment to our BDDS. We'll see that we received an NX domain because the record is gone. There you have it. For network professionals who want to restore order to fragmented DNS that comes from cloud adoption, we activated discovery and visibility along with deploying a BDDS in the cloud giving us an authoritative server in Amazon with accurate information on what's happening in our environment near real time. And that's one of the ways you can start to reestablish your authority and governance over enterprise DDI management. Visit bluecatnetworks.com to learn more.